The second part is about soundproofing the car, meaning the first time I assembled the car, I attached the vibration on top with Splen. That is, Fibra 4 on the engine shield lies Splen 6. This wasn't enough for me, so I bought some felt of this thickness, probably about 2 centimeters thick. I laid it completely over the engine compartment, the tunnel on top. I covered it with a film, as you can see, to prevent moisture. If something leaks from under your feet or the stove starts dripping, you must protect it. Now I'll cover this with the standard one. There was this kind of vibration layer. Well, not quite vibration, but some sort of... What's it called? A standard layer of vibration. A layer of vibration rubber. A rubber sheet was lying around. I'll secure this whole thing with screws because it keeps sliding off. It's inconvenient. No standard bolts or anything, so I'll secure it with a screw. It'll be fine. Now I'll get everything done. You'll see the result. Here the tunnel turns out to be gripping. There was a sheet of felt until here, but it slides off everywhere. The effect is explosive in comparison. That is, from one sheet of felt there is more effect than vibration and noise combined. So guys, after the first layer of vibration on this insulation with this gray one, I laid out felt. You can see it. Here's Viber Splendid Felt. The effect turned out great and it didn't seem sufficient to me so I added more. On the box here lies a piece of felt. You can see it. I also found some old jute felt. Exactly, it's the hard felt. You can see it's the kind they make felt boots from. I laid it on the box. Makes it the fourth layer. That is, there are four vibrations. Eight splen, two centimeter felt. This one is half a centimeter. The main thing is to put everything in place, the carpet and so on. So guys, after I assembled the interior, made a soundproofing, it turns out vibration 248. Splen, the felt is thick. On the top of the box you can see the second felt. There's a double layer of felt on the tunnel. I decided it still wasn't enough for me. I didn't like the noise coming from the trunk, so I made another thick one. The felt is here under the rear sofa. Here you can see the hatches, so in case of repairs, replacing the rear shock absorbers or their bushings or something else, you can access them. Since I have a cylinder in the trunk, they can be easily unscrewed and removed. Here everything is stuck with Vibra completely covered on top. Two and a half centimeters felt, the thickest I found, here is a piece of it. Right now, I'll lay a sofa on top of it. Here I packed the rear arches tightly so that there is as little noise as possible. The card and tunnel, rear axle, fuel pump and so on. That's it guys. Well, that's generally about the cabin soundproofing. That is the top part, the bottom part of the engine shield of the rear backrest. In brief, everything. The effect it gives. The only thing, that the effect only works with felt. That is, without felt. Well, basically, the effect is... Considering the amount of money spent on a vibration, it's not worth it. So I don't recommend using felt only for noise reduction. I don't encourage placing felt on bare metal for vibration because condensation will still collect. It will get wet 
and potentially cause your car to start to rust. So initially it is necessary to completely isolate the metal from the felt, that is, even with a temperature difference. Condensation only accumulates on the metal. When the cold metal, then the heating or engine starts to work and so on, this is where condensation comes from, or when the car is idling and the temperature is rising. Well, let's say it's idling in winter, then the temperature rises, it all heats up and condensation comes out. Well, I think everyone has seen this effect in the garage before. That's why I emphasize again that soundproofing should only be undertaken with felt. Then there will be a practical effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Watch out for further videos. Soon there will be a video about soundproofing doors. Uh, how can it be done with minimal effort in principle with a reasonable result? It will also be in the video. I've already removed it, I'll install it soon. How to stretch the ceiling on the Volga, because here with poor insulation I removed it all and how to stretch the ceiling, this is not a cardboard ceiling, like in Lanos foreign cars and so on. This is a suspended fabric ceiling with a frame and so forth. The video will be about stretching the ceiling, subscribe to the channel, like, write comments, share with friends, go to the drive, subscribe to the drive. There is a car there too. Visit my website testranic.ru. Everything appears there first, besides travels. I will develop a technical section in which I will also describe all sorts of interesting things. In general, the main resource is this YouTube channel and my personal blog website testranic.ru. That's all. Good luck to everyone. Goodbye.